Well, good morning, everybody. We're coming to you straight from Clearwater. I'm here with my sister over there. There she is. And my brother over there. And of course, you know, Michelle. I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things we've experienced, but I'm going to do this separately from the group. Hallelujah. Well, I wanted to take some time just away from my brother and, and my sister-in-law just to talk a little bit about uh, what some of the things they do up here. And, and as a paramedic, uh, my brother does does a lot in the community to help out the community. And and uh, he's been involved in the fire department. He's been involved in, in community service, victim services, and so forth. And then my sister-in-law, who, who spends every Saturday morning going out to a farmer's market here selling things for the work in Kenya for the school and, and selling different shawls and things that they've made to raise money so that the school can continue on. Doing good to help out others. And, and this brings us to our scripture here this morning. Let's look at it here from 1 Peter chapter 3. Who is going to harm you if you're eager to do what is good? But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear. Do not be frightened. The term eager or, or being zealous, it is a deep desire to do what is right, to do what is good. Can you imagine if every Christian had that deep yearning and desire to do good? Up here in Clearwater, we, uh, I heard from my brother about a a Sikh temple that was here for a number of years and and uh, it had to shut down there weren't enough people so it's interesting what they did they sold the building and they took the money and they distributed it they gave some to to the fire department some to the ambulance to the school and to the to the elementary school and they just dispersed and the community was at completely bewildered this doesn't happen and I thought about it and I thought, well, you know, it's not like we have to go and sell all of our buildings, but wouldn't it be nice if we as believers were known for doing what is good, for doing what is right, and not for hoarding, but for sharing. Folks, God has called us to be eager to do good, but that doesn't always mean that we will be looked favorably upon. This is what Peter says. But even if you should suffer for what is right, you are blessed. See, there are times we may suffer for even doing what is right. But don't stop. Don't stop doing the right thing. Don't stop sharing the truth of the gospel. See, the enemy may hurt us, but they cannot harm us. Only we can harm ourselves if we choose not to walk in the way that God wants us to walk. So be eager to do good and do not fear what they fear, Peter says here. We don't have to fear these things because God is on our side. See, if we have the right fear and the right reverence for God and we keep our focus on Him, we can move forward in doing the right things. We can move forward in sharing the truth and the love of Christ. So folks, let's do that. Let's keep our focus on God. Let's do the right things. Let us not be swayed by things going on around us, but move forward in the hope that we have. So God, I pray in Jesus' name you would help us as believers to stand for righteousness to stand for truth for, to stand for the things you want us to stand for help us not to be swayed by different things that happen in our society help us not be swayed by fear help us not allow fear to consume us but God to allow your Holy Spirit to fill us and to take the message of hope to a world that desperately needs it I pray blessing on your people today in Jesus name amen amen God bless you we will see you Thursday. Have a great day. And don't forget, do good to those that are around you.